Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Nafisa and I'm a PhD candidate. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the AI tools that I've used in my research journey. It's very helpful. It helped me a lot, helped me a lot in my academic writing, um, in uh, grammar, and also in clarity and even more. So if you are struggling in writing, I think this will be very helpful for you and it will be even push you further. To do so, the AI tool that I'm going to use is called PaperPal. So if you haven't heard about PaperPal, then let's go and figure it out. So I'm going to guide you through the process from the beginning, from starting your own account until you how to use it successfully. So we will go to, first of all, we will go to Google and how to create this account. So basically, we just go directly and type PaperPal. Once you type it, you will just find your their website here, and then you click on Get Started in the icon here. So when you clicked on Get Started, it directly gives you more options to log in or sign in. It just went very fast because I'm already logging in my account, so you just need to use here your Gmail or whichever email that you are using. Once you logged in and you went through the process, they will send you email, um, and then you can just like confirm that. So let's see the features that PaperPal has. So as you can see here, they have more and more. Like first one is new document and this you click it when you already want to start typing directly in document. The second one is install Word add-in. This is you can easily add PaperPal into your Word um, document. Also, it has the features of plagiarism check and plagiarism here. It's uh, linked or partnership with Strontine, which is accurate 100%. And also, they have submission check. Whenever you finish your paper or your article and you would like to make sure if the journal will accept it or not, then you can check it easily here. So PaperPal won't give you specifically the journal that you want to, but at the same time, it will give you more guidelines that mainly common for multiple journals. So the reports of the submission check, it's very helpful. I even use it. We can talk about it in another video. And that report, you can even, even like easily go through the, through the report because it gives you percentage of how if, how will it be rejected or will it be accepted and then you can edit easily like you can edit just like the mistake or that missing that in that report also they have editing services and more plan this is just for subscription so if you would like to start writing a document you can just click on the new document and then you can start typing in the right side here you can even see more and these are the options but to make it easy, I'm, I'm gonna go because I like to work on a Word file. I'm gonna go here. Let's see. I think I created already Word. So, yeah, paper for practice. It just takes time sometimes. So, we will start. Yes. So this is an empty document and I already added paper pal to the board. As you can see, it's here. So let's start directly by clicking on it. Once you click on it, it will directly appear here, the features of paper pal. It keeps scanning, so it will give you more options. So the first one is languages. So if I have any uh, text written here, it will detect the language and then it will give me like if the phrase is good. And this is in terms of um, uh, grammar. The second one is synonyms. If you would like to change any synonym of any words that you don't know, you can just highlight the word and then it gives you synonym. And the third one is translation. You can translate it even into any other language that you want and the consistency. The most important part that I really love the most is Copilot. Let's click what do we have in Copilot. So you can rewrite in Copilot, either paraphrase it or trim it or make it, uh, make it academic. Or you can generate or you can even simply ask PaperPal anything like any other AI tool that they use. Let's, for example, ask PaperPal what is climate change. 
so I'm gonna change something fast. Okay, here we are. It's going to give you the answer, climate change refers to blah, 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 and even more details. And then even it start keep talking more and more and more. So this is to make it easier if you would like just to take, what can I say, um, just general information about that, then you can check it. And you can even replace it. So the second one is generate. I'm going to guide you today in how to generate outlines for your research. And as you can see here, if I click on outlines, uh, it will give you more options. Do you want research article or do you want case report or essay, statement of purpose, title, abstract, keywords, summary, study highlights, email or email for a journal? And what they mean about email for a journal here, uh, it's about cover letter. So we won't talk about that. We will just, just concentrate here. So I'm going to select research article. And research article directly, it will ask you to select which section you would like to talk about for your paper. Do you want the introduction methods, result, discussion, or conclusion? Let's select the introduction part. What is your field of study? So since my field is medicine, I'm going to select medicine. But if your field is not medicine or any other one, like physical or life science, you can select what much you do. So I'm going to select medicine. And then the most important part is brief description of your study. What do you want exactly to study? So you have to give paper pile what do you want to, to study, and then it will give you brief things. Let's say my research is about hypertension. So I'm gonna type here, maybe like quality of hypertension care. Okay. So basically when you type here, you cannot type less than 10 words. So if you type like this, for example, and select generate, Paper pilot will give you the alarm, like, no, you, you have like less than 10 words, you have to add more. So I'm going to even talk, uh, like type more, like mixed method study. Yeah, mixed method study. Maybe I can type here in Henry. So I think nine words. <laughs> I need just only uh, one. Uh, maybe I can type observation. Yes. Nine words. Exactly. You can even add more. So I'm going to generate. So it start directly. That's what, that's what good about um, the paper palette. It start directly create even the sections of the introduction. And as we know that in the sections of the introduction, starting about the background in general, statistics, globally, um, in the region and in locally in the place that you are studying or you are targeting, then let's move on. You can regenerate if you don't like it or you can insert it. Since we are going to use it here, I'm just going to select and insert. As you can see here, so whenever I insert it, it here, it gives me the options background, topic importance, existing knowledge, and the known and the unknown, which is the knowledge gap, the rational research questions, objective hypothesis. So whichever you want, you can quickly scan what PaperPal gives you. And in this case, like you can just edit it later according to what you want exactly. So the background is just giving me general information about hypertension, what is it, blah, 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 in worldwide and the situation. The topic important, topic important, uh, it gave me like it's prevalent caution in Hungary since I already specifically told paper part that is in Hungary. And it's giving also the existing knowledge about what previous studies mentioned and the knowledge gap exactly in what to I know. So you can quickly go through that as I mentioned. Let's move to another feature, which is uh, another section. Let's say the method section. Oh. So, sorry, we will go, yeah, here, the method section. You don't need to change anything. The same description, you can go through it. You can click generate. It will start directly, give me the whole method section, starting from type of study, the participant, the analysis, ethical consideration, the inclusion and exclusion criteria, every single thing that you would like, or it should be a part of the, of the study. Whenever you feel boring, you can just stop <laughs> or you can change whichever you want. So directly it moved me. I have to, like, I should have been put the cursor down, but here, it's here. So, 
let's move on yes it's give uh, it gave me here from data analysis data collection glue inclusion yeah it's from here you see the search method literature review participant study among others so it's specifically i didn't mention which or like which uh, participants i would like but it's directly give me inclusion criteria exclusion criteria and also data collection and data analysis we can also select another option which is methods or we can go to the result in the result section it help um uh, i think it went out yeah in the result section it can help on the interpretation part sorry i'm gonna go again uh through this it will give you interpretation so Sorry for mistyping. X method study. Uh, yeah, I think observation. Mix method study. What can I say more? Because we just need, as I mentioned, we yeah, it's ten already. So it's directly yeah, study participant, etc. I will stop generating and then we can yeah we can insert it and then I can change to another one which is let's say the result yeah yeah uh, already it gave me the result that's generated and then we will data analysis observations confirmation of the results time point change uh, table figures, comparison, every single thing that was everything that you would like to um, use. I think it's uh, very helpful regarding that. And then you can click insert, and directly it will go to your. You see the, all these, and then you can edit it uh, the way that you would like. And the last section that we can talk, which is um, we have a discussion or conclusion. Um, yes, discussion part. And also the conclusion. I will take you uh, from here directly on how to use it in the second section, which is we already mentioned. Insert. Okay. Let's uh, just from here, let's move to rewrite. So let's say that we would like to paraphrase this part. I'm going to just highlight it and then click on rephrase. When you click on paraphrase, you just generate, it will give you different. I like how PaperPal talk to you. It's like really best friend directly. I can help you with that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's like introduction. Okay, so if you can see here, the main text was like, hypertension is the major uh, public health concern worldwide, while here it poses a significant threat to public health globally, and it's essential to manage effectively, and blah, blah, blah. If you would like to replace it, you can replace it. If not, you can just keep it. We will go also if you would like trim. So I like trimming because if you would like, for example, to give just a small summary, trimming can help you with that. And also in the abstract mainly or summary of your own paper. Also, you can just highlight it. We will just uh, move on with the same. And let's say that I would like to trim it to less words. So you can just trim it and that's it you see it's just even less than what already we have trimmed by nine words which is very nice and we can just change it here and you, as you can see here now it's like yeah global concern or issue blah 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 the next one and the last one that i'm going to use is make it academic if you would like to change this and make it even more academic and you can just regenerate it and it's also giving you and uh, giving it to you so that's how you can use paper part for outlines for training for academic i hope this video was very helpful for you and if you would like to know more or ask any question you can just type you can just ask in the youtube or give any comment and you can also follow us in social media if you like this video you can share it with your friends and you also your colleagues thank you for watching us and goodbye <laughs>